Hi. Hi. Can you hear me loud and clear? Am I loud and clear? Loud and clear. Can you hear me okay? Awesome. I can hear you okay. I love it. (sighs) Okay. So hi, Olori Megade. Hi, Sewese. It's a pleasure to see you all on the live call today. And I'm going to be asking the Brad girl some questions, interviewing her. She's doing excellently well, helping women feel confident and healthy when Robbie Brad. But don't let me don't let me sell her yet. Let, I want her to talk and really, you know, share with us how she started and what she's doing. So yes, they said the Brad girl is big. Can you see? I love it already. Doing bang boye. Thank you for joining. I feel oh, GC land. Thank you. So over to you. Would you please introduce yourself? We know you as the bra girl, but what's your name? And what is it about the bra girl? Okay. Thank you so much for having me today, Adela. I You're really welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. I am Bukola Adedeji. Like, the bra girl is almost like, okay, taking over, but I am Bukola Adedeji. <laughs> I help women with large boobs find bras that comfortably support them so that they can have, they can live healthier, they can be more confident and feel attractive. So that connection between bras and sexy, I make that for women, especially for those mm-hmm. who feel that, oh, they may not be in that boat, those who, have, who are top heavy. Okay, so right. yes, I need that connection for them. I love it. I love it. And I, I just want to ensure that this does it, like everybody hears what you they hear this part of what you said you you help women that have large boobs and i want you to be specific is it dd to ggg like i heard ggg for the first time and i was like oh wow so is it dd to ggg so that if there's a woman out there who is like a size ff and she's been looking for that perfect fit are you the yeah. one to come to Oh, for sure. So from double D to double K. So I can oh, wow. run from the spectrum with that a whole lot. Double D, E, or triple D, as some would call it. F, double F, G, double G, H, double H, J, double J, K, double K. That's the UK sizing. So that's a whole spectrum of bras right there. And those sizes tell stories for people. Yeah, top heavy gang. <laughs> can you imagine top heavy gang? Don't worry, I'll find my gang. <laughs> oh my goodness right i'm with you yeah so that's that's it that's between double d and double k cup and for me it's really more about narrative and definition right so if you think you're busty and you're not finding the right bra or you don't feel supported or you don't feel confident in, in who you are because that really informs a lot of narrative for women Okay, so some women don't go for some particular career they would love to because of what they feel about their breasts or because of the lack of support they truly feel about that. If you're in the sports, for instance, for for those who are into active sports, high-impact sports, if you don't have enough support, it's a lot of health issues, right? So it's beyond the slaying game, right? It's Well, it connects so much to our physical, emotional, and social wellness, so yes, that's what I do. I make I breach that gap for those women who think, oh, I'm busty and I don't know what to do. I'm your girl. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Now I, I interviewed a friend of mine once. So Duba is saying ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Didi is big. <laughs> so your 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 tribe, your tribe are commenting. <laughs> yes. I love it. So Tina, Tina Coach says. <laughs> Yeah, she says, I use DD, but I don't feel like I'm that big. Well, Tina, the bra girl says DD is in her line of trade. So you guys should follow your sub. <laughs> and then follow their yeah. sub. So here's, here's what I want to say. So I was chatting with a friend, you know, and really I was chatting with her because I wanted to know if she, she was a right fit for what you do. And one of the things she told me was that a lot of women who are top heavy, right they don't actually know their size so she said that she learns her size by experimenting so she would carry this particular bra today try it on and you know she she just kept trying until she thought she arrived at one that was her size unfortunately years later she now realized that it was just a little bit smaller than her real size, but she had worn the wrong size for about 20 years. Is this something that is common 
that you see you know often and how do you help women find their right I mean, their real size okay so the first part of that like how many 7 out of 10 women actually are probably not wearing their sizes and the real um, mm-hmm. challenge there is that they do not know okay wow. so they do not know and how you would know really is because you don't have something to compare with right you know so so you think oh this is what life has given me let me just roll with it and because of that some people just take them them just out of a particular um spectrum so yes many people do not know and you probably could be wearing the wrong bra size how do you know there are physical evidences to this okay now because there's no skill to measure the emotional impact even though it could it shows through a lot you know in the way you speak the way you carry yourself the way you come through in your day the way you lean in at the table it shows through so but we don't have a bar, uh, bar, i want to say barometer for that a measurement a skill for that <laughs> yes. but for physically yeah. you know those things that um like headaches um chest pain back ache you know you don't think that these are just part of life okay some people just yeah. say, because i have because i'm um plus size because i'm busty that's why i have this so i have to live with it no you don't have to live yeah. with it finding the right way but is very very crucial and important now to the second part for how how we help women now because i've interacted with hundreds of women right so i understand yeah. and in fact i have um um established data on what women how, how to help women with this so there's a lot there's a lot more structure to things now so i could tell you that okay this there's actually um a framework i developed to let women know you know where where you are on the scale of things like okay maybe i'm part of this gang that need to get to this gang right you know so yeah. yes i have a framework that tells women that so it's a largely before now it's been largely unstructured for lack of a better word so it's not like you can go to school for it or you can you know you have um some older women tell you about it but it has evolved over time and now we are yeah. here having more information that is not necessarily yeah. available to the everyday woman but that would help them a lot as we were saying okay yeah you can have it better you can explore some people don't want to go to the pool side because they are too big and they think that breast will be all over the place oh girl no 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 So yeah so some people don't want to you know be athletes like oh I love to run but they don't want to run because the, the jiggles are too much you know not just what would people say see my boobs but I really don't feel supported within myself so I it's, it boils that. down to the narrative that we have it boils down to turning Sorry. in I, the bragger I have to cut you short here you you're saying some very powerful things that I think I don't want anybody to miss but before that somebody said something very interesting Dupe says we should form the name bra o meter already so you can you can call your your bra fitting sessions the bra o meter right you know you know oh, all job. about creating beautiful names that just make your your work sound great so the bra o meter can be the time to check your size it can be the opportunity for you to know your size right and i love Thank what you me. said i think it is so beautiful when you said a woman with really big breasts doesn't want to go to the pool side because she doesn't feel like she's going to be well packaged she feels like you know she's going to expose herself and everybody's going to see that it's not well put together and so you are saying that you provide bras that can help women look great at the pool side yeah that those are swimwear tankinis I bikinis love it. you know so so this information has not been so out there for women and then there's the issue of availability too in in the oh, in, I I have to I have to allow me allow me allow me quickly read this comment and I hand over to you because your 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 tribe are in the comment section your tribe somebody said I was still trying to make a bra purchase online last night and I was just wow. making a guess poshbaby.ng wow. please slide into the bra girls dm and she would help yeah. you with a bra consultation over the phone. I promise you she's yeah. that good. She knows what she's doing. If not, she would not be on my live, right? So please see her. Let her give you your right size. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. 2020 is the year of certainty, right? Right, Braga, over to you, please. Over to you. Yeah, and the so fashion, that- the Niger fashion geek, you're welcome. Bami 8200, you're welcome. Yes, over to you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, so and that is what it is for the bra girl. I sell bras, but I sell you the confidence that you need. 
Okay, so I take the guesswork out of your bra sizes. And within the mm. industry, bra sizes can be inconsistent within brands, within designs. There are different designs mm. that fit different. So having interacted yeah. with some of these brands and these sizes, I can safely yeah. like um, estimate yeah. your size and say, okay, for this design, this would work for you yeah. in this size. For that design, maybe not. Okay, so but yeah. this all has to come together. You know, taking out that guesswork is what I really prioritize, you know, in, in our online consultation like we really zone down to what really is the issue with your bra breast support women go through different phases like we, our bodies changes averagely on, the, on six times during a life our lifetimes right right from adolescence to early adulthood to first baby or to multiple babies you know when we talk about the sagging okay to menopause to i'm losing weight or i want to gain weight or you know so there's a lot that goes on in that spectrum of things okay and different yeah. needs and for one person different needs and different brand yeah. sizes for you you know in those right. areas so that is what i do i take the guesswork away and connect you quickly to that thing that makes you feel good confident and attractive i love it let, let me quickly let me quickly read some of the comments here dupe says good brands that make you brave <laughs> Your people are in the comments they are cracking me up real good bra business is good business i love it and um niger fashion geek says especially after winning your child yes we're going to talk about that right after winning your child and olympus doesn't want to rise we'll, we'll talk about that later when olympus doesn't want to rise we'll talk about that now dupe is saying do you want to speak confidently get a good bra ah oh yes oh yes i, I need to start selling bras i need to I, I need to share this experience with you i see women literally transform in two seconds, because they put on the right brand. Like, all my life, I've, won, I've, 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 I've not had this experience. So it's really the experience there, right? So for me, I, yeah. there's this Voltron mode. I, I call it Voltron mode, where you're putting on the right mm -hmm. size and you just put your Voltron mode. You feel you can do anything. Yeah. Like, who would have thought? You'd have thought education would do that for you. Well, yeah, education, brand education now, right? You know, it's I love it. Going to school, you know, having this skill would do so much for you. Yes, it does. Yeah. But something that connects directly to our femininity remember that our bust is one of the first things we see that defines our femininity when we don't have it right in that area whether consciously or unconsciously our confidence level takes a dip you know so, you reminded me of someone l l let me quickly say this you reminded me of someone who said she used to she used to bend over because her boobs were big she used to bend over and she was ashamed of it but if she had met someone like you who had given her some body positivity conversations and also helps her to get the right fit in it'll still be big but it will, it will look really good really well packed and she'll be more confident lovely yes. let me quickly say this yes. somebody's saying something very crucial in the comments he says good bras are also expensive we don't get to have a lot like women with small breasts it hurts so what are your prices like i know i know that you would still we would still come to your dms and see but what are your prices like do you want to give us a fair idea like if i wanted to get like one bra from you Okay, one bra is starts from like seventeen thousand. Okay, and which is not bad because I know a bra is two hundred dollars. Like one of those big bras is two hundred dollars, and you can that, get bras like... for two fifty, four hundred dollars. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah. So and they have the different things that they provide apart from support, comfort, the feel of the fabric on your skin, the feel of luxury on your skin. You know the fit, the shaping luxurious uh the, the way it's been put together the color the you know so all, all everything goes in there and then for bigger sizes there is more that goes into putting these things together there's a lot of yeah. research backing this up the engineering of the bra cups themselves okay so yes in the night yes engineering themselves you know i'm a certified bra fitter so i i actually went deep no, so, take that again you're a certified what bra fitter Wow, I love it. So you're not just a bra fitter, you're a certified bra fitter. Oh, and yeah. so you understand oh, the engineering, the back end, the workings of a bra and how it should fit. Guys, if you're a DD to GG, you said, was it GG? GG is still just me. Double K, sorry. Uh, you know us, you know us. From DD <laughs> to double K, if I to ZZ, if you're a ZZ, please. <laughs> see a certified bra fitter like the bra girl like why would you even want to 
play games in 2021. And somebody saying something. Dupe says, Dupe is cracking me up. She says, there's a link between good brats and bravery. You feel like you can take on the world. Is this, is this really what it is? Yes, absolutely. I love it. Absolutely. And also because I grew up being a, a, teen, a thin teenager with large boobs. So I have mm -hmm. worked it. I've gone through it. I have, I've gone through the problems. I understand it when women say, I, have, I don't have a bra that fits me. Oh, yes. You know, so it can go Adiola, as deep as having sores on your body because of your bras. You know, so, so yeah. for some people, they may not have those, those experiences, but for some others, it's really mm -hmm. bad, needs an intervention. That's why I call mm -hmm. Braometer now. <laughs> Maybe I'll change that to Braometer on the website. I'll call it, so the bra, I it. I'll call it the bra intervention session. Like we're, we're just intervening and say, you don't have to suffer this anymore. Yeah. Okay, as for those who don't even have the physical effects or scars, we have the emotional yeah. scarring too. And the social... Yeah. Um, uh, wellness too you know i don't want to yeah. hang out because i just had a baby yeah. i'm trying to find yeah. my thighs you know i can't even yeah. wrap my head around that because my breast just went you know pear yeah. shaped you yeah. know and all the, yeah. yeah so yeah that, that's that's the things i just directly address for women it's not a conversation that comes out in the open right yeah it's not a conversation yeah. that even happens a lot among women because when you feel mm -hmm. that somebody's happening together you think oh okay yeah. maybe i cannot ride with this person so that i don't expose my lack of confidence but it doesn't yes. work like that you know as women mm -hmm. we come together and so bringing the conversation out there in the open and saying big or small your boobs are the right size for your existence right now all you need to do is style it and you're, offering you're time. Your I need to give you an offering for that thing you just said. Big or small, your boobs are the right size for, for what? For you, for your body right now. Like in for your, your, for your body right now. Right you need now. to write that. You need to write that on your page and put that up as a post. It is so powerful. Where, like your boobs are the right size for you because this is a major issue. This is a ma you know what you know what I mean when I say major issue, and very quickly I also want to you know share this um, which I got from a friend again and I think it's going to help people who are in this category of having big boobs and and really want to get help. So she said most ladies who have bigger boobs are usually bigger on top, so they kind of have this inverted triangle shape where things yes. Oh, she just, somebody's even saying the same thing. Fantastic. She says, if you are an inverted triangle, a good bra is a must. So she's saying that if you have like, if you're top heavy, so maybe your, your, your upper part is bigger than your lower part. It is actually in your best interest to have the upper part more organized and put together. So that it doesn't even look bigger. It doesn't even add to the size or make you look wider. Is that something that, is that something that you usually come across in your line of work? Yeah, maybe I'll post that. I'll, I'll post that photo again. Again, so we did. Um, we did a session for a lady who came. She said she was a unicorn, you know, and she wore bra. She wore bras that didn't really lift. And she even said she she said that okay. By the time we put her in a bra that fit. We took a photo of both before and after, and the difference was so clear. And one of the things yeah. that she would also relate with was that it shapes your body, your silhouette. Okay, yeah. so when you have that lift, if you, if you felt you have a big tummy before, for instance, it looks minimized. That's one. Number two, when you're wearing the right bag, before then, if you felt all over the place, like, oh, this breast, you know, how can I package this and all that? When you wear the right yeah. size of bra, you feel minimized and compact. So after yeah. you look, you look minimized. Inwardly, you feel compact, and it just releases yeah. some energy for you because the bra, the bra does its work. There is a work like I, I say that your bra should do its Sorry, job. all of a sudden, so, can, can, sorry, can you just work on the volume a bit? Did you turn something? I'm struggling to hear you a little bit. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't talk okay. anything. Looks like it's better now. Anything. Okay, I didn't talk. Yes, anything. yes. Okay, so like I said, the, the, there's a work the brush should do for you. If it's not doing it, you're doing it. Like your brush should do its work of comfortably supporting you without you doing anything to help it. So when you are, whether you are inverted, hourglass shape, you know, pear shaped, you still yeah. have to get that game on well. That's a problem because yeah. it, it just creates a silhouette, a better silhouette for you. You yeah. know, front, left, you know, and send, you know, all round. I love right. it. I love it. So you're saying that 
a good bra would make you more compact so you have a better silhouette and you know you you don't feel like wide and all over the place so it's almost like even minimizing your top part or making kind of making it making you smaller in the area you want to look smaller in and giving you a good fit i love it oh yeah bola or go so you're welcome and she just you know she just uh, she just wrote what you said which is very powerful big or small your boobs are the right size for your existence i love it for your existence i i i love the way you put that and um rolands logistics oh she's giving us a testimonial about you she said she bought bras from you and she loved the entire experience i'm so happy she said i do not feel as big as i used to feel <laughs> because my girls are now well put together i love it <laughs> Hey. I love it. Um the perfect. Hey. Thank you for joining. All right, so on a final note, is there any advice you want to give women with um from DD to K to sorry, I keep missing to KK, right? Am I right? KKK. Mhm. Mm KK. Yes, is that yeah, what what KKK. Z Z Z. Let's do it. Is there any advice you want to give women, you know, with this within this range and how do you want to yeah, what 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 advice you want to give them? Okay, I'd say you know what? If you feel that you don't have that support, you know, just just get to the framework. You can just DM. That's that's one. You need to give the right. effort. Find what works for you. Because right. you are losing more than you think you are losing by not giving yourself that experience. So right. the bra, your bra is a door that opens you up to so many other things. There's so much about your femininity that can be explored when you open right. that door. You know, right. and so now you have the opportunity to do that so that you can get on with your own life dreams, you right. know, your own ambitions and get to where you want to get to. Fantastic. And I get one more. I mean, that is a beautiful way to end this. And we are ending it perfectly with a testimonial from Oye Bola Ogunsonwo. She says the brand she got from you fit perfectly and they are comfy as bread and butter. Thank you so much, Oye Bola, for being so uh generous with your comments thank you so much the braga bukola it was amazing having you on you know now that you came i see more value in what you do and i see that you don't just give women bras you give women their confidence back by helping them look and feel great you know in their right in their right sized bra and i think that is so amazing i think that is so amazing because like you said it is part of what people see when they see us first it's part of our upper body and i think you're doing a great work thank you thank so much you. the bad girl thank you, so thank you. Thank i'd you. love to have you and so more tanis event thank you for joining okay and if i may right. just add this women here